Hello everyone and welcome back to Fallout 4. So last time we left off, we were going to the memory den to see Dr. Amari for a railroad quest. However, it turns out uh, I was also supposed, supposed to meet Nick Valentine Dr. here. Dr. Amari? Yes? Wait, I know you. You're in the railroad. What's this all about? Okay, I guess we're doing this one first. Uh... Oh, never mind. Oh, we are doing this one first. Uh... You're the one who can extract memories from a brain, right? Normally, we only allow our clients to experience their own memories. Now, what's this all about? We need a deep dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you two mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory stimulators require intact, living brains to function. What? Well, please help please. us? Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you... Have it with you? I have a piece of it. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. So we can use it? Uh Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, a brain implant could fit him. But that's Wait. an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't yeah. Worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Uh, are you sure, man? I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. Zippity doo da, zippity day, zippity doo da, Mr. IA. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? Look interesting. A lot of flashes, static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Okay. Any way to break Tell it? You have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory lounger. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Let's do it. Right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and Keep your fingers crossed. No problemo. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba hey, dog meat. I'll be out before you know it. Hopefully, maybe, In perhaps. Brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic okay. activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. See you soon, dog meat. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. 
Okie dokie. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Alrighty. Earliest. Wow. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Okay. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. It doesn't matter now, though. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. Mm. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. People are always hoping for something better. They usually end up with something worse. Okie dokie. This doesn't seem to be what they're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. It's going. It's going to be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around, looking tough. <laughs> well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's going to be great here. See this? This is what's going to keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're going to be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Wait, I wanted to... Ah, here we go. The thing about happiness is... You only know you had it. And it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but... Uh, you don't really believe it. Focus on that... Petty bullshit or... Next job or whatever. It's only looking back, by comparison with what comes after, that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. Ah, uh, that sucks. It's gonna. Be I thought San Francisco was my chance to start fresh. I was the hot shit, the gunslinger from the hub, 
rolling into town with the world at my feet. Everybody knew I was the one who'd shot Valdez. I could write my own ticket to any outfit in town. It all worked out pretty damn well. For a while. Be fine. You'll see. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. Mm. We don't know anybody here. Okay. On to the next one, then. Let's see what we can figure out about this Kellogg guy. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you I found another memory weren't to there I to help you. them. Okay. So, don't know what that was about. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. There was always a job for someone like me. Didn't matter what it was. Didn't matter who I was supposed to kill. I got pretty good at it. There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. Whew. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. It was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Well, that's how I got a scar. San Francisco as I could, maybe. If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek away. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Okie dokie. Whoa, we got synths. I'm glad you decided to meet with him. The first synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could That's always make more. And kept making them better each time. They still give me the creeps, but... You have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself really existed you heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute but I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened they were real all right they didn't know anything about operating on the surface relied on their synths for everything they had the resources I needed and I had the expertise they needed. That's super creepy. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Which suited me just fine. We do. As you can see. What do you I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kinda ran out of road. Plus, 
I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't going to be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Wow. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. It's getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brain cells. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override. Oh, Initiate. lovely. Cryogenic stasis. Suspended. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. They didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. All the computers are still working. The eggheads never liked taking orders from a dirty, contaminated, degenerate like me. But they needed me. And I made sure they knew it. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller, even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. Hmm. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but uh, I never like to. And yeah, I guess it did remind me of uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but uh, still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is the one. Here. Open it. Hi, me. <laughs> is it over? <laughs> Are we okay? Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come no, here, wait. Daisy. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you son! Ah. Yeah. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Okie dokie. 
Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. <laughs> but it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Hmm. Uh, is anything gonna happen? Or... Kellogg. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. Ooh. I'm just glad they were always on my side. It's okay. One of these days, you're going to get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. That's funny. Wow. I caught Kellogg not too far from the glowing sea. Capture and return or just wonder if he was on his way there. Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Alrighty, let's see what happens here. X688, ready to relay with Sean. What are they doing? Getting picked up? No. Bye. That looks like teleportation. Teleportation. Yeah. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the institute because there is no entrance. Funny that. Pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Ba ba da ba. Well, that was fun. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Yeah, I feel fine, I I'm guess. Okay, doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Teleportation. We we the Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? Virgil. The scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil. We need to find him. You're right. 
A rogue institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That kind of makes sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. Why is that? Why? What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? The name says it all. Radiation. So much that nothing there could possibly live. Nothing present. Navigating radioactive hazards. I wonder if it's like new, a but the glowing sea a ghoul. can kill a man in seconds. That's why it doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. Couldn't he be a ghoul? I can't say that. Okay. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the glowing sea for a reason. You already established that. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Okie dokie. Well, let's level up. And let's see here. I think I want to keep going into intelligence until we're full. As I talked about before. And then that'll help us level up faster so we can then fix all the other... We can all upgrade all the other things. So, yeah. So one more level and our intelligence is maxed out, and then we'll probably go on a scavenger hunt for the intelligence bobblehead, and so on and so forth. For now, though, I'm going to go talk to... Actually, no, we're at time for today. So that's going to do it for this one. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed all that fun stuff. As always, if you did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment. Any and all feedback is very much appreciated. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.